got this really, really cute bookmark which has our heroine I have a comic book haul for you guys. It's been such a long time since I've bought any, so it's been a long time since I've done a haul. I'm just going to pop these aside and bring them out one by one and we can have a look at them together. My new setup actually enables me to use a larger surface so I will be able to keep the comics upright. <laughs> I have um, done a few comic hauls where everything is sideways <laughs> but now with my new camera and my new setup I have a lot more space to use to work with so my comics will be upright. I'm just gonna flip the video so it's upright for you guys too since I will be Usually I would just like show you guys like this, but um, yeah, since there will be reading involved, I'll do it this way and flip the video. So this is the reason I went to the comic book shop. It is L'Atelier des Sorciers, number 7, le septième. So it is the seventh volume of this. Um, in August of last year, I got one and two for my birthday. Um, then I swiftly bought three and four. Then I bought five and six. And I popped out with my daughter and we went to the comic book shop when it was open briefly. And yeah, so I got number seven, which had just come out when I bought it. And we were lucky enough to get a little extra because it just came out. A little bookmark. So it's cool. I really, really love this series and would definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, for now it's a seven part series but I imagine it will be going for quite a while because the story still has so much. I feel like there's so much to explore. I think it could go on for a long I don't want to give any spoilers because I think that discovering the premise and everything is part of the beauty of the first book, the first slash second. Um, so I'm not going to say too, too much about what's going on and who the characters are and stuff. I will just say that it is a beautiful, magical. I'll show you what I got with this edition. I got this really, really cute bookmark which has our heroine. understand the significance of certain things on here. But I 
will not go too far into that just because spoilers. <laughs> so yeah, I was really, really happy with that. Um, usually my local comic uh, shop, I want to say comic book store, but that's so American. <laughs> and they don't, they call them, um, magasin de PD in French, so it's like a shop, like a comic book shop, but for French people, um, you have comics, which are like the American comics, like DC and Marvel and stuff like that, then they have their own idea of what, a, like a graphic novel, I guess, and then you have like uh, manga, and, you know, they have different things. We would generally lump more things in as comics, like if it was a French comic, it would still be just a comic, like, like Superman would be, you know, but I guess we do make the distinction between comics and manga. So yeah, really, really excited about this. So the drawings are very simple, black and white, well I say simple, the drawings are not simple, but see the style of it. I don't want to give away too much in case somebody's been waiting to read this. <laughs> oh yeah, let's not look at this page. Oh, this is a good page. Don't look at it. it doesn't give away too much. So there we have the first thing that I bought and the reason As I was there with my daughter, we had a little look for her too, so she does read these after me, so she's following along with the series too. I prefer to read them before just in case there's anything like scary or creepy or like, you know what I mean, um, anything I might need to explain to her first, but yeah, just because it isn't like a for her age. For now, there's been nothing that has really bothered me to let her read by herself, but yeah, okay. <laughs> this is such a little girl comic. <laughs> so this is called Les Sisters, which is the sisters, um, an air de famille, um, I guess. Look resemblance, I guess. Um, so this is a very early teen, maybe not even teenager yet, kind of comic. Um, I would say like seven or six years and up, maybe. I don't know. It's about two sisters, an older and younger sister, and how they love each other by getting on each other's nerves and stuff. And so it's a pretty popular um, comic. Um, maybe some of her friends read it too, but she's definitely seen it about and like had little inserts in her Mickey Mouse magazine and stuff. So we decided that she would forgo her pocket money for a few months and I would get her the first two volumes to see if she liked it. And she really liked it, but I mean, she can read like actual novels and like read Harry Potter and stuff like that now, so these went pretty quick, but she really liked it though. She thought it was very funny, very, very funny. So yeah, sisters, les sisters, and les sisters number two, de El Monde de Chino, the world, at our home. It's strange when you translate, sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> Chino means ours, at ours. The world at ours. Okay. So these were a fun little purchase for my daughter. Okay. The next one is kind of also for my daughter, but also for my son. So this is Le Loup en Sleep. So the wolf in pants. <laughs> And this is, I think, the fourth or fifth. Yeah, this is the fifth volume. So 
she started getting a little sleep as a present from my brother and sister-in-law um, a few years ago. So she now has the fifth. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? That is so satisfying, isn't it? So clean. She hasn't read this one yet. I think she forgot that we got this. So yeah, it's a really like, it's kind of a very kid-like um, comic. Like the writing's huge and stuff, like she's kind of outgrown the, you know, the size of the writing and stuff like that. But it is still fun for her to read, like it's a nice, a nice funny story. She'll still read it, but I'm thinking more like about continuing the series so that we will have the collection when my son is old enough to read them. So yeah, she probably hasn't read this yet just because either she forgot that we got it or it's not really that interesting for her anymore, but it will definitely, definitely be interesting. is a series that is finished already and I think there are 32 um, if I remember correctly there were 32 comics that were put out and this is 1 to 12 so this is just the first volume even the side the spine is so cute that's a card Of our heroine. Notre influence ici s'amenuise. Nos prêtres sont massacrés par les disciples du nouveau dieu. Un âge sombre annonce. Il n'y a que dans mon monde l'immatéria que je pourrais te protéger. Et là-bas, Tu ne seras plus une petite fille. Tu seras une histoire. Tu seras une histoire. <laughs> tu ne seras plus une petite fille. Tu seras une histoire. So I just massacred that text in French. Sorry guys. J'ai trop mal lu. Mais bon, c'est pas grave. So it's part of the urban cult. First of all, just attracted to the cover and like the simple, beautiful cover. And then I 
I had a little look inside, it looked interesting but I was still not sure because you know, sometimes things can look cool and then the storyline is like really bad or something so I did ask in the shop and they have some really great people working in there that know a lot about a lot and they always have like their own niches like if you ask somebody they'll be like oh well go and ask so and so because they're like into that sort of thing they'll know better and stuff so it's pretty cool I'm lucky to have that in my town slash city I guess we're city yeah. so we have this kind of design at the beginning before we get into the actual comic and then it's in colour this started in the late 90s and then finished in 2005 if I remember correctly I don't know if this has been like redone in any way or I don't know but I don't know it looks really cool and really interesting it's like ancient and space age at the same time it's like ancient Egypt with futuristic like cities it's like um, yeah it's really interesting apparently there's a bit philosophy involved in the storyline and everything a bit of philosophy a bit of space age and a bit of ancient Egypt sounds lovely so yeah hopefully I will enjoy this have any of you guys read this? do you know anything about it? Um, I would really like to know if you guys have already in like a different form like in the older comics or like in a different version Leave up on you the first book I guess there must be one well, this is 12 there must be two volumes three maybe yeah three I think there was 30 something so maybe three volumes I really hope I like it because there would be nothing that would please me more than having beautiful books like this and enjoying them <laughs> gorgeous okay so that is all that I have to show you for this evening sorry there hasn't been many uh, comic book hauls recently I haven't really been buying any so I can't do a haul if you don't buy I would think with the situation I would have more time to read but I feel like I have even less time okay so I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it relaxing I hope that you're fine and doing well I'll see you.